I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Tim here, welcome back to another day of 6 o'clock content. I don't look as red today, but I have just finished my run. If you haven't seen any of the videos that I've uh, released recently, only two of them, but like they've got like a yellow banner on the bottom of the thumbnail, feel free to check them out. It's sort of a more of a, a personal insight into me and, and kind of... A little bit of like a backstory of a few things and where I want to do, where I want to go with regards to not just like life and fitness and stuff, but also with YouTube as well. So feel free to check those out. You may find it interesting. If you don't, then don't worry about it. Um, but for six o'clock content, uh, I heard murmurings of an objective. Probably not, but we'll, we'll check that out. We had the uh, upgrade yesterday. We do have, oh my days, oh my days. Oh my days. That, I mean, either one of these, phenomenal, grindable, three segments. Doesn't really matter how expensive they are because they're both going to be insane and you can both, they can both be grinded and I'm going to grind both of them. So up first, we'll talk Makis first because this guy is going to be the one that gets selected the least, I feel. And that is because it's, I wouldn't say it's obvious that Real Madrid are going to win, but they have a much bigger chance of winning than Granada do, right? So... With that being said, it's more than likely you're going to be stuck with this 92 once you complete it. So 4-star, four 4-star, four high medium. If you've used his inform, you know how effective he can be. He is a very, very good card. His attributes then are 97 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. What height is he? 5-9 high medium. Brilliant. Uh, agility and balance off the charts. Really good dribbling, physicals are nice across the board, really good aggression. That aggression is so underrated as well. That will make sure that he's constantly trying to cut the pass in lane, trying to intercept the ball, and then will just attack everything. His shot power is incredible, great positioning. I really like the card. A few issues here or there, of course, the reactions are still beneath 80. And like I said, it's, it's highly unlikely, not impossible, but highly unlikely that uh, he'll be boosted to even a 93, let alone a 95. Stranger things have happened, of course, so I'm, I'm not ruling it out. Not, not, uh, I, I'm one for an underdog, right? So I actually wouldn't mind it, although I do have a financial investment in Real Madrid with regards to Tony Kroos, so actually would prefer it if Real Madrid would win that game. I'm just, wait, where is that fixture? I'm just on sofa score looking for the fixture. So, uh, is it really Friday or is it Saturday? When do they play? Real Madrid play on Friday. Do they then play on like Sunday or Monday as well? Um, Monday. Surely it has to be Monday. Monday. Wow. A week today this game is, is played. That's a long time. Like was were the other ones that long? Maybe they... I don't think they were, were they? What day is it today? Monday. I don't think it was. I don't think it was that long for the for the Man City Liverpool one. I might be wrong in saying that, but either way, it's nine o'clock on Monday. That game is seven days away. Now, to be fair, Granada are not actually doing that bad in the league. They are ninth. I thought they were a lot lower than that, so that shows how much I know. Uh, Real Madrid are obviously top. They're still looking for the title. Uh, they look good for it as well, but still. Yeah, you never know. There is an outside chance here. However, I would still back Real Madrid. I mean, you think you'd be a little bit mad not to. That's a good card. We'll have a look to see what the requirements are in a second because, okay, we're going to have a look to see what the requirements are now. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, 85, 85, and one of those pointless things just to get a few cards off the market. i tell you what, though. That's an incredible price. I don't care what anybody says. I was expecting 86, 87, or 286s or something. 285s. Oh, that's even better. Oh, they've oh, well done. No, I'm, I'm. That's, that's a clapping moment. That is a, that is a well done EA moment. They know that the likelihood of Real Madrid winning that game is high, right? So, rather than say, look, we're gonna charge you 285s for both players. What they've done is said, look, we realise that it's, it's probably gonna be the case of you're gonna be stuck with a 92. It's a good card with flaws. Have it for 283s. That's that's fantastic. 
uh, Vinicius is likely to go to a 95, we're going to charge you a bit more. You may get away with it and do this one for 283s and get a 93 or a 95. And then, of course, Vinicius is coming in at 285s, which I think is worth it anyway for the 92. But the chances of him going up to a 93 or a 95 are greater again. And his stats are fantastic. Not the best card in the game, but bear in mind this has got scope to improve as well. It's not guaranteed, but like I said, chances are high. So great acceleration and sprint speed. We have 97 attack positioning, 95 shot power, very nice. 87 finishing, could do with boosting, same with the long shots. The, I mean, the passing's all right. It, it, for, a, for a winger, maybe you want to boost it. To use him as a striker, it's okay. His dribbling across the board, brilliant. Uh, I wouldn't even worry about the reactions and the composure because of his agility and because of his ball control and his speed. Reactions at 88 should be more than fine. Stamina sensational. Maybe boost the strength up a little bit. What are the... Um, oh, there we go. Five-star skills, of course. We know that. Five-star... Sorry, four-star weak foot would be amazing if EA said, look, if if Vinicius gets his 95, he gets five-star, five-star. If Makis gets his, uh, his uh, 95, he gets five-star, five-star as well. That would be another great selling point. But even as it stands, five-star, four-star is still fantastic. High, medium... Um, he has flare trait outside of the foot shot trait as well, so that makes up for the four star weak foot in my opinion. It's it's the second best thing to a five star. That is a fantastic card. I'm very happy with both of those. You know, I, I honestly don't think you can go wrong. That's unreal. I can't believe how cheap they've made that. I this is a little bit stupid if you ask me. Like they literally just want you to get to 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 get eleven cards out of your club. It's I know it's it's nothing, and it, people are like, well, what are you even moaning for? That's going to cost you, like, three bronze packs, four bronze packs to complete. And I get it, right? It's not going to... It's not that big a deal to just take 11 cards out of the out of the club. I want to complete this on my Road to Glory. So I'm going to complete Makis on this account, and I'll do that right now. I don't even know if I've got enough in the club to do it, but I will do it. And I'll do, I'll do this first while I talk about it. This is the biggest... It's not a scam. It, it, it's just one of those like really blatantly obvious things EA are doing, and it's not even like they're trying to hide it. They want you to use these cards because they know full well you are grinding the 85 to 92. You're using four bronze cards or silver cards, probably bronze though, every time you do it. That will go down quickly over time if you do a lot of them. And they know that, so they want you to use 11 for each SBC that they bring out now, it seems to be this pointless 5 chem thing just to get 11 cards out of your club. And it's so blatantly obvious that they want you to have to drain that, that section of your club so you have to go and do it more. It's it's trying to make that um, that grind a little bit harder for you. And and just just blatantly obvious that they're doing it. I don't it, I mean it's not really that big a deal, but it's just it's just obvious that that's what they're doing, right? So nothing great in that one unfortunately. Uh, not that I was expecting anything big. 283s for this. Let's get them done. 80 chem is going to make it a little bit harder. Jumbo uh, premium goal pack and a premium mixed players pack back for these. That's the first team for Makis. Uh, I did this one first because there's a requirement of a La Liga player. The other one is just free reign. Uh, but you do still need the 80 chem, which is a bit of a problem um, if you have limited resources in your club and you have to buy the items certain cards are expensive using big players like uh, thomas Partey, which i'm sure most of us have from that 88 plus and the likes of an 86 or an 85 here or there really do offset the price i know it's only an 83 rated team and it's a little bit overkill or what it seems like overkill for an 83 rated team but if it means i can save money by not using 83s 84s i'm all for it and of course we have an awful lot oh look we're gonna get a board here out of this 15k pack i did it on the off chance we could pack something that could help us, and I have done Spanish centre mid in form. Uh, it's going to be Luis Alberto. I will, I will take that. 88 rated Luis Alberto from a 15k pack. Now I could sell this, but I'll put him straight into that um, 83 rated team for Makis uh, for the for the second requirement. So big, big fan of that. Nothing else in there to help us, but that's okay. Could pick up the 25 ish k for him but like i said i'm just gonna throw him straight into that sbc we also get an anchor which is going to sell for i would imagine near enough yeah near enough 5k we'll do that just to get it gone straight away we also get a free pack it's gonna be a loan pack unfortunately but still 
I'm all right with that. We've done really well there. And of course, this doesn't sell. Does this one sell? One of them sells. Eh, about a thousand coins, but I'll keep it because I'll probably need it at some point. Let's go submit the second squad. I've done an 84 plus uh, two rare gold player upgrade just to help me out a little bit here. Just use some of the, the lower rated rares. I'm hoping to get a little bit better than just the 84s. We do get a walkout, but it doesn't really mean an awful lot because it's an inform French cam. Uh, it's going to be Decora, Deco Decore, Decora, 86 rated. That'll help me a fair bit toward that 83. Not so much with the chemistry, but if we can get another Premier League player in here or another Frenchman, that would help me out big time. An 85 to go along with it would be very nice. There we go. That's not bad at all. Very, very happy with that. Uh, we can throw them in. And of course, he now links to Luis Alberto, actually. So that really does help me out a lot. And that is the final part of that done. Now, this one obviously isn't as good as Vinicius Jr., who I think is very good value. Um, mainly because essentially what you're doing, of course, is gambling on the fact that he will go to a 95. To get that card for what is around 220, 230, but that side, you have five days to grind it out. And if you follow the upgrade path of bronze packs for for days i'm literally talking 20 30 40 k's worth of bronze packs sell anything and everything that is worth more than four five hundred coins keep the rest then do loads of bronze packs uh into like bronze upgrades into silvers and then use all of the silvers regardless of what league they're from use all the silvers because they're all untradeable anyway you can't sell them and then put them into silver upgrades and you get four non-rare gold cards and then you can use them in the 85 to 92. I know it takes a long time and I know it's an arduous process and I know that EA really do need to fix this, but you can do that very cost effectively to the point where on my road to glory, I'm making money while grinding that and earning players or getting players that can do icon packs, that can do things like this. I'm going to get this card and Vinicius Jr. while making money. And if you've got the time to do it, awesome. If you don't, try and do it as much as you can just to offset the price slightly. Uh, maybe you'll get lucky in one of the packs that you get back for the first squad like I did with 88 Luis Alberto. Saved me about 25-30k. Offset the rating massively as well. Uh, that card I'm looking forward to using. You can expect a review of him probably first thing in the morning. I would do it tonight, but I've already got something done. Uh, and I'll just release that and then we can have him tomorrow. And, I, you know, it gives me a little bit more time to play with him. But, of course, Vinicius Jr. as well. You'll see the review of him tomorrow. I, I do like the look of him. I think there are a few things wrong here or there. But for around 100,000 coins and grindable, I, I, don't, I genuinely don't, don't think you can go wrong. 100k these days isn't that much. And if you can grind it out, like I said, if you've got the time to grind it, even if you can only grind 25%, 50% of it, for this, for 50 to 75,000 coins... I think is uh, I think is good, and you never know. You never know. We love an underdog. They could get uh, get a result. That's gonna be that's gonna make for some good viewing. I think if you watch that Real Madrid game next week, and you'll be praying that. Well, I mean, if you've done Vinicius Junior, you'd be praying that uh, Madrid win, of course. But if you didn't do Vinicius Junior and you only did Macis, because maybe you could only afford him or whatever. You'll be hoping and praying that they can at least get a point there, so you'll get a 93. But it'll be interesting to see. And even in packs like this as well, I mean, that there you go. I mean, that's 2,000 coins right there. People will look at that and go, well, I didn't pack anything. That's trash. You can list that for 1.8 and you've made 1,800 coins back. It doesn't sound like much, but if you did that for every card, okay, not every card's worth 2K, but if you did that on every card, Ben Taleb, for example, he's worth 1,000 coins. Like, I mean, you can use them in upgrades, sure. You can go for the 85 to 92 if you want, but if you don't want to and you just want to take the coins, you can sell them. They're all selling for a thousand coins right now. Why? Because people, and this one is uh, selling for nearly 2k because of the links. And that's what I'm talking about. You, This is the time to clean up as well as grind. So we can sell him for 1.8 for a non-rare 78 rated card. Unreal. This guy probably won't be going for as much. Again, about a thousand coins. And it's because people want to do the 84s to try and grind this. They want, they, But they're buying the cards off the market. What you should do is go and start from the bottom. It takes a lot longer, but it's cost effective. And you can make money while doing it. Like if you pack him, for example, he, on the face value of things, is useless to you. You don't care about that. So list him up 
for just 350 right? That's the majority of the price of the pack. With whatever we discard from contracts and all the other nonsense like kits and balls and stuff, you'll probably have made your money back on that pack. And now those two, for example, you put into the club. And then at a later date, after you finish grinding the bronze packs, you can put into the upgrade. And that's the way to do it. And that's why I think 100k for Macis is brilliant. And... 200 to 225 30 ish for vinicius jr with the possibility and probability of him going to a 95 is brilliant big fan of that well done ea um yeah let me know what you think of him in the comments are you going to complete them are you going to complete one you thinking maybe Macis isn't worth it I, i've probably said his name wrong like a million times in this video but it is what it is um yeah there is a bundesliga challenge as well for uh, i think i think it's for like a two 83 plus but they want like an 82 rated team just stay clear of it and and stick to the 84 plus upgrades and the 85 to 92 honestly it's just not worth your money it's coming in at around 30 to 40k just not worth doing if you have enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and until the next time goodbye football index the game changed download the app now